Hey folks, Ron here. Before the video gets started, I just wanted to say, please subscribe on that little button down below uh, to the video, and make sure you activate notifications. It'll be right to the, to the immediate right of that subscribe button. Enjoy the video. Hey folks, Ron here. We're going to uh, discuss today IFTA, International Fuel Tax Association. And as you can see here, I've got it up on the screen. What does this really mean? Well, every single commercial vehicle that drives across the roads of the United States, doesn't matter what state you're in, you have to pay that state tax. Um, and how that tax is calculated is based on the individual state. So we use at iftach.org this matrix that you see here. And you're interested in the special diesel price. Now, this is the price that is per gallon of if the tax on your special diesel. Okay? You also have gasoline, gasohol, propane, LNG, CNG, ethanol, methanol, blah, blah. So, but for the most part, we are interested in the special diesel column. Now, a lot of you are going to be looking and saying, what does it mean per gallon? You, How does that justify it? I'll explain. Well, first of all, when you see something in yellow like this here, like we've got for Florida, um, that means it's changed, the price has changed per gallon over the last quarter. So it's uh, it would behoove you to bookmark this website. So... What I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring up a, a, a matrix that will show you how you how is this important to you, and I'll be right back. So what we have here <clears throat> is a matrix that I created. You don't have to do this yourself. You can go and hire somebody to do this for you, but really what it means, when you're ta calculating taxes for fuel tax and you hear the, you know, the price per gallon, well, what does that mean in a price per mile? Because that's typically where a lot of drivers lose the, the uh, equation. Now, if we look at my first schedule here, we can see that this is all based on your average miles per gallon in your truck. All right. Now, this is my fleet at the moment. So, you know, looking at all of my trucks... Not just me. Wow, I don't do that many miles. But, um, you know, so this is this is for the first quarter of 2018, and it shows the total miles traveled in the quarter and the total number of gallons used. And so when you look at total miles to total gallons, there's your average. So now you use this average in the price per state. Okay. So you take your total miles per gallon or your your average miles per gallon in your truck, um, and you divide that by the by the price per gallon of tax, and that pretty much gives you the price per mile for that big, that state. You know, so if it were me advising you, unless you're doing a lot of individual miles in a given cheap or no tax state, I wouldn't be buying tax and uh, uh, fuel in those low tax states. I try and keep my my uh, purchasing in higher tax states because I've got high tax fuel in my tanks for when I drive across low tax states, it gives me a credit. Now, there's the naysayers out there and you'll hear them in the truck stops, ah, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. You're gonna have to pay the same price no matter what. Well, for, for drivers that are still living on a settlement to settlement to settlement basis, it does matter because at the end of the quarter, if you have a fleet owner like myself, all of a sudden dipping you for two or three hundred dollars out of your weekly settlement because I just finished up the quarterly taxes and you didn't buy the taxed fuel. You bought cheap fuels in Mississippi, Oklahoma, or no tax fuels in Oregon. I'm gonna be dipping you and you may you're gonna get ticked at me for taking the money out of your settlement. But if you buy fuel and you buy that fuel at the right state and at pay for that tax at the pump, you're guaranteeing yourself a credit at the end of that quarter. And you're not going to be angry at me for taking something out. In fact, I'm going to be giving you the tax credit at the end of the quarter. I'm going to be giving that money back to you uh, uh, on your settlement. So 
here's how I've got these three schedules, schedule one, schedule two, and schedule three. Like I said, you don't have to do this. You can have a company do this for you, but I'm just using this as an educational um, document. If you want to do it yourself, you can. I wrote this uh, spreadsheet myself, and I go in and I put in my truck's total mileage per state for the quarter, and I put in the total fuel per state per quarter, and that puts it against the calculation of how I file my if the state taxes. So, and basically you're looking at this and saying the state of Nevada is 27 cents per gallon for if the tax, the number of miles traveled in that particular state. Then we're going to calculate how many gallons the state of Nevada says you should have purchased. And there's the calculation right there, you know, column E here, minus, or excuse me, divided by the total miles per gallon, which is up here, okay, it says should have had 2,524 gallons purchased, but I purchased 2,955, so that means I have a credit of 432 gallons, which means I'm carrying a dollar credit of $116, so when I go into some place like Alabama at 19 cents a gallon, I should have bought 77, but said, nope, not going to buy it, so it's at zero. So there's a $14 due. Well, guess what? I'm going to pay it out of that credit. Same thing with Arizona. Same thing with, in this case, in California, I didn't buy enough fuel. I should have had 942 and I had five, uh, 564. But even so, I had some credits from the other states, so it all worked out. In this particular case, it gave me $78 of the credit on that page. Worked out to being owed 55 on that page, but a tally of all three pages, I had $73 worth of credits. That's because some of my drivers bought fuel in Oklahoma, okay, that didn't cover enough credit for the other states because Oklahoma is only 13 cents a gallon. So the moral of the story is, is I want to try and buy fuel, top my tanks off before I leave Pennsylvania at 74 cents. And I'm going to wind up covering more down the road. So, in a nutshell, that is IFTA. If you have any questions, you can drop me a line. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I love subscribers. And uh, comment uh, what you think I need to expand on. And we will take care of that as well. Uh, where to buy fuel. I think my next topic will be um, how or, or when to buy fuel and we'll do that next topic. So have a great day. Look forward to your questions.